So, you just installed Pterodactyl Panel and Wings on the same machine and wondering what to do now. So, after you installed uh, Pterodactyl Panel and Wings using this script or using the official document doc, uh, documented way by Pterodactyl, um, you can look up your IP or your domain name, whatever you ended up using, and be prompted with a login. Uh, this is the login you created in the beginning. If you watch the old video, well, the video I created before this one, I called it Upgrade and gave it a passcode. There, as you can see, I can log in now and I will save the passcode. Yeah, sure. um, but we won't have any servers and nothing. Um, this is an admin profile, so we have the ability to press on this settings icon, which gives us the admin page. So this is your admin panel or admin page. Since this is a fresh install, what we gotta go, go and do is create a location, so just create new, and give it a name, just call it main or whatever. Create. This, we won't use this any further, um, but it can be used for more advanced panel setups. Uh, we might do tutorials on them in the future. Then head over to nodes, say create new. And give it a name. This will probably be the main node, so call it main node. And say use HTTP connection, since we did not create a HTTPS. And say not behind proxy, that is correct. If you ended up using SSL and HTTPS, uh, you will select this one. But we didn't, so we will do this. Uh, then give it how much disk space it has. I think the current one has about 5 gigabytes, so I'll give it a bit less than that. And uh, memory, it is 2 gigabytes of memory. So we will say 2048, which is 2 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, memory over allocation, we will do 0. Disk over allocation, we will do 0. Since I, I this is probably used for something more advanced, uh, we won't be using that yet. And as FQDN, you just write in the IP address that you used before, since everything is on the same server, that won't cause any issues. And remember HTTP connection, not HTTPS or SSL, uh, since we are not using a qualified domain name. And create... Well, it might be possible to run SSL without IP, but we didn't do that in install, so we won't do that here. We'll just do HTTP connection. And create node. Exactly. Uh, now we can give it allocations using, for example, the IP address. Well, not for example, exactly the IP address, and then give it a port. We'll just give it 5050, for example. And now the port 5050 has been created. I accidentally clicked twice. Has been created and is now able to be used. Now let's also create one that's called 5051. And I think I can just do this 5052. 50, 53. That is uh, just these three. That's fine. Yeah, all three of these have been created running on port 50, 5051, and 5052. Um, this isn't done yet. We need to go on to configuration and click on generate token and uh, copy this token. Then log into your panel, uh, no, your VPS again, your server, as we will do here. And you should run smart terminal. Then do sudo su. And paste the token that just got generated. After running the token command, you need to reboot your system. So after the node is created, watch out for this. If this heart is green, you did everything correctly. If it is red and some or some other symbol, something is not working as it's supposed to and you should need to troubleshoot. Um, you could ask in our Discord server and we will probably be willing to help you. But since our node here is green, we will uh, just continue down to servers. And now we will be able to create a new server. But that I will do in, ne in the next episode.